Hello there, family. Hello there. Welcome back. A little change up. We just said family. Leave it like that. We are family. We are family. Absolutely. It is nice. It's just very nice. It is. Uh, This was a Patreon exclusive yesterday. um, And I was thinking, well, you know, uh, they might not get what this is about. You know, it is a news update, but then again, as we always like to do, give some history and how that history may be repeating itself along with some of the medical side of things that are touchy. And this is a very, very touchy uh, video, and I was going to do this as part of a bigger video, and then I thought, no, let's just isolate this and, and just be right there. So if they take this down, we know exactly what's going on and um, you might know that the global population is falling for the very first time since what they tell us is the black death Um, i gotta disagree with the black death part you know because we're talking quite a bit of time going by with the the plague that we know uh, they say again took one out of every three people in in europe Uh, I think there's a lot that we're missing in our history, a lot that's missing in our history. But I do think, yeah, I I do think that population is declining. In fact, I want to ask you guys, do you notice anything in your own area? Um, Because there is, there are signs, uh, and we are in an area that did not do a certain thing as much as many other areas. In fact, we're in one of the lower areas as as far as doing a certain thing, uh, you know, about four years ago uh, for percentages. And not that that's it, because there's other things tied in here. Global fertility rates hit an historic tipping point and unlikely to recover. Oh, children of men. Uh, yes, this that's a good quote. And, you know, it's interesting that that popped up because you would think that inspired this video but it was kind of the other way around um why has sperm become 30 percent more sluggish now we've talked about and and by the way since 2019 we've talked about sperm counts and sperm counts have been dropping so you know if you look at how many sperm are in a typical let's just say trying to make a baby um globally the number has been declining consistently going all the way back to the 50s you know from from when we really were starting to watch these things and you know you could say and i do think it's it's environment um to a high high percentage and i do think it's pretty obvious again a lot of what we are subject to um has an effect on our our hormones and and the hormone makeup there i th- you know it's it's no offense guys here in 2024 but the reality is there's a lot less testosterone in in guys and again plastics are are something that can bring out the estrogen and but that doesn't that's not what this is talking about it's not talking about the fact that there's less sperm per milliliter it's saying they're sluggish the sperm that are there are tired and lethargic how many people out there feel more tired and lethargic now than you did back in 2019 or pre-2019 now we could all say hey we're getting older you know i'm i'm gonna i'm getting close to that sixth decade of life and you know you're you're bound to slow down as you get older but then again is there something else really going on here well uh, the media recently reported on the results of a study of danish sperm donors from 2017 that's a good year to start this yeah because that was the year seems like so much of everything really really kicked off to a totally different level to 2022 which showed sluggish sperm attributed the development to the effect of uh yeah that word right there l-o-c-k downs in reality, a study showed a significant 30% plus decrease in modal sperm concentration. 
And so what else? But you know, I'm going to where I'm going with this is is actually not not that word. It's somewhere else. Because this this picked up. This is showing that it really started in 2019. And I remember there was something in my mind in 2019 that was uh, bothering me. And what, what it was, was looking at certain things that were popping up everywhere. Yeah, this happened, this F-I-V-E-G, this happened to go global when? It began deploying worldwide in 2019. And we know this was, again, a military technology. It originated as a military technology. In fact, they need so many of the antennas because it, it, it doesn't span far and wide. And so they had to take a huge undertaking to put all these in place. This is, this is so huge. And this should really it just bells ringing everywhere for you, for those that have you know been labeled as con as piracy theorist again there's so many people that look at that word and now view it very very differently it just means somebody that gets things ahead of the curve mm -hmm. that's right it, it <laughs> that's what you can tell your children if if uh, they ask mom what's a conspiracy theorist you can just say well sweetie it's somebody who just knows what's going on before anybody else <laughs> and that's that's really what it is but this is really a big big problem um i think mostly because people cannot see it they don't see it with their two eyes so they they don't always dodge the consequences and they don't always put protection around themselves because they they just don't feel it right away you know, and that's completely normal. It's standard, but we, we can't be that way uh, because it, it affects more than just sperm counts. It affects our bodies. Our bodies take on a lot of this EMF and it, it, it will make us look like a pig pen on, um, on, on the Snoopy show. You know, the pig pen has the dirty aura and the specks of dirt all over him all the time. He just kind of walks around and it follows him. This is what this stuff does to your to your aura. And it puts little black dots in it. I've seen it. It's crazy. Just walk through Walmart and come out and you have it. You you have it. You know, we, we make it a point usually when we get home to always sage and clean ourselves up energetically after after we go into a place um, that we know has this technology. Um, and you can feel it too. You, you can go into a Walmart and you can come out and you'll note um, exhaustion. I mean, I've felt it. Mike has felt it. Other friends, you know, have gone in and come out and they have felt it. So it's something that we cannot see. And unfortunately, it's one more thing we have to add to the list to be mindful of. And, you know, again, uh, everybody has talked about this in these circles that we uh, dive into. It was interesting. I went to try to say uh, hi to Roger at Mud Fossil um, because he was doing the live. And I went and typed and it tried several times and they wouldn't let me say hi to Roger. I was just going to say basically, hey, Roger, we appreciate what you what you are doing. And for some reason, I was blocked from replying on, on Roger's live. And I don't think it was Roger, you know, because I've never said anything bad about him or anything like that. So it, it was a case of, again, the system knows uh, that they don't want um, they don't want the system being exposed, but it is being exposed. Now, this is saying uh, sperm counts could reach zero by 2045 as toxic chemicals accumulate in our bodies. There's a layering going on. And this is from tw this is from you know, last year, <clears throat> 11 months ago. It's almost. Well, yeah, pretty much. You know, it's an accumulation effect. It's, you know, the fact that, you know, the toxicity of the water, you add in the toxicity of the clouds, you add in uh, all the genetically modified foods. I was saying to Cindy on her way home uh, yesterday, hey, you know, it, the GMO seeds, that should have woke everybody up because you got to keep buying them every year. 
but also they're modified. And when you look at it, when did allergies and everything go you know, through the roof? It, it increased in the same time period. Again, uh, this has been ongoing, and it's always ongoing. And this time, it, it, when, when we asked the guides, how many times has this happened? Uh, you know, it wasn't like in line with the, the Hopi Fifth World. No, they were like, this happens. It gave us the impression hundreds or maybe even more. Like it's again, it's ongoing. It, it's almost like there's never a time when it doesn't happen during a Kali Yuga and a little bit of the last end of the um, Bronze Age, because we're in more of a period of kind of war uh, of a different level, <laughs> you know, of a sci-fi uh, movie level. But then again, we're living in a sci-fi movie right now. We, we are. I mean, this should be hitting everybody. So, you know, accumulation of all these toxic things in our bodies Again, number one thing, uh, detox as much as you can, you know, and I got used to a different habit, which um, it, it was not something I was doing normally. So I was taking in uh, earlier in the day, breaking my fasts um, at like not really fasting period, more like 12 hours uh, before eating instead of my usual, which was 16 to 18, sometimes 20 hours on a, on a daily basis, you know, just basically squishing the meals into a six hour window or so, or an eight hour window. Even just doing that will um, help your body detox. And so I did, you know, basically a 24 hour fast yesterday. And what a difference. You know, because it really was a big difference. And, you know, my hands have had a, a lot of work with many uh, different things that I've done throughout the years, a lot of abuse. And I was noticing, my gosh, you know, uh, they aren't aching. And, you know, it was just a simple act of um, not taking especially any sugars into the body. And when I say sugar for me, it, it would be fruit. And so, because we don't add simple sugar to anything. Uh, again, you got to be constantly detoxing and learning about detoxing. There's there's many great sources and channels for that out there. Um, we do spread ourselves out quite a bit. We we can you know touch on so many different topics, and we do have playlists on the different channels uh, that again might make it in, a little bit easier if you're binge watching. But yes, please do look into detoxifying your body daily, and it's in more ways than one. So now, you know, sperm counts could reach zero. The sperm are sluggish. They're not feeling well. The ones that are, uh, you know, alive still at this point. When, what you're looking at, too, by the way, 2045 is an interesting year because uh, when we were looking at the splitting of the realities, uh, I, if that was our best guess year, about 2044, 2045. So what they want to do is weigh down, um, weigh down humanity that's here. They want to revise humanity with a new version that's even more controllable. And hence, you know, Cindy had that vision. Uh, the other night of a planet, which could be Earth in the future, but she didn't think it was Earth, but it could be our uh, future for those that, that stay in the cities and stay with the system, uh, where the people are basically nothing but brains and spiral, spinal cords that are put into uh, everything else is basically a robot, you could call or cyborg, and they uh, don't have any sort of autonomous control over them. This is really what, what, what the goal is because you are a battery and you have so much power to you and, and you are a fractal of, of the one source that is incredibly powerful. By the way, that movie, Children of Men, if you haven't seen it, um, it was a good movie. It was a very good movie, Clive Owen in it. When was it set? 2027 this is from 2006 the, and what is it well he you know uncovers a woman that's pregnant because nobody can get pregnant anymore we're all sterile so it's basically going to be the last generation and then all of a sudden a pregnant woman pops up and you know they all want to you know dark energies want to get her and and do whatever 
And so he's the hero and he's trying to protect her so that a new baby could be born to men. 2027. Wow, that's interesting, is it not? But 2028, I feel, is one of those key years. And uh, of course, they have that agenda 2030, which, you know, they're telling us this. These are their goals. <clears throat> and they have many goals in mind, but they want to redo humans into a more compliable um, resource. They certainly do. And, and we need to uh, keep ourselves. We need to keep ourselves original. We need to keep ourselves organic because even though it looks like something like a, a bit of a, a mountain that's coming on top of us, we still have free choices we can make right now. We can still remain organic. We can still create our own future. And we really cannot forget that. I mean, just like this kitty, you know, we can just sort of claim it, you know, claim what's ours and let everything else do what it's going to do. Absolutely. And, you know, who's to say that's just a kitty? Who is to say uh, when you look to some of the myths uh, around the world and legends, very, very high level intelligent beings can share space with other uh, animals, birds, you know, you name it. And they can watch the situation uh, from a different angle. As always, guys, look forward to your comments. Thanks so much for being part of the family. If you want to join us on Patreon, uh, you could do it for even less than a dollar a month when you pay for a year ahead of time. It's a 10% discount, so it comes out to about 89 cents a month. And again, exclusive videos several times a week. And it does help us to keep going with the videos as we're busy <laughs> trying to do as much homesteading as we can and we'll give you a little update on how that's going um shortly source bless and namaste much love namaste <laughs>